Hi everyone, welcome back again at Tech for Mint. In this video, I am going to talk about Firebase Cloud Storage. With Firebase Cloud Storage, you can store your photo, audio file, text file, any kind of file in Firebase Cloud Storage and you can easily scale it. And one of the best thing about Cloud Storage, you can add a rule of for XYZ type of user can access or upload the file on Firebase Cloud Storage. For there are free uh, uh, some methods you can use it like storage reference. First you need to define a storage reference and then you can call put method for uploading a file. Or if you want to get a downloadable URL, then you need to define a reference and then need to call get download URL function. And similarly, if, uh, if you want to delete a file, then you can call delete method. And if you want to collect all the list of file, uploaded file, then you can call list all method. So this is a simplest example. Uh, here I have defined a storage reference, uh, firebase.storage. Uh, then we have defined a reference. Reference is just like as a directory. So we have image directory and then we'll pass a file. A file can be a anything like image file audio file text file and this is a method put method and then we call this is a javascript promises we can handle it using then catch block so now i'm going to show you how we can create a, a simple application uh, where user can upload and download and delete the file so i have created a simple firebase project and then we'll go for storage and then we will click on get started button and then here you, uh, you this is a rule for cloud storage and then click on next and then you can define a location and then click on done so basically this is a dashboard for storage here you can directly upload your file you can create a folder or you can download it here and also you can apply a rule like uh, for example right now the rule is only authenticated user can upload the file uh, so right now i'm disabling so just for the testing purpose like anyone can upload anyone can download and anyone can read the file and here you will get the uh, the uh, uses data like how many files and all so now we'll go for project setting and then we'll copy the config file so this is a cdn and then we'll copy this file we'll go to the prof, uh, vs code editor we'll create a new file index.html and then we'll define simple html5 syntax and then paste it here okay so now uh, i will copy the cdn for cloud storage so we'll go to the do documentation and then click on get started for web and here we have available libraries then we'll copy the available javascript library sdks and then we'll copy the storage this is a cloud storage and we'll paste it here after firebase yeah so this is it now what we will do we will create a input box for uploading a file type is equal to file then we'll add a function on change let's say on change will call upload data is a method name and similarly we can pass a id so let's say my id is file and similarly we can define a name
and we can define uh, multiple like multiple file you can upload okay so in the javascript part first we call a functions so let's say my functions name is uh, uh, upload data so with the help of javascript we can collect the file uh, data where or we can use let keyword file is equal to document dot get element by id here i will pass the id of the file so file id is files and then we can uh, so uh, right now i'm selecting multiple files so we can select all the uh, files of zero and then we can print console.log file and that's it we'll save and that's it we will open on the browser so this is a simple uh, file input box now we'll click on and then let's say i will upload this file so the this is the uh, details about the file the file name and last modified and here you can get the details like the size and type and all now we will create a storage reference so we, we can create a storage reference firebase then storage and then we can define a reference so let's say my reference name is images is a folder where we can upload the data or a file so now we need to create a dynamic file re reference uh, so we can create so let's say this ref is equal to this is my reference for the file and then we can use a storage reference and then uh, child method and we can pass file dot name file is a javascript object and inside we have a property name so we can create a child reference with the help of uh, file dot name and then uh, we have a child reference we can call a method put method for uploading a file and this is a javascript promise console.log we can print or we can add alert method or and we can add catch method for handling the error Okay, I will see. and then we will open the file and just reload so I'll click on choose file and then let's say selecting a file yeah so my file is updated uploaded successfully uh, then we'll go to the cloud storage or we can reload it or change the tab yeah so we have a folder uh, this is a reference image reference images and inside this folder we have an image one dot png similarly we can upload another file let's say i want to upload 2.png let's say uh, yeah upload it successfully uh, just change the folder or yeah file is there now i'll show you how we can download the file with the downloadable url for downloading a file we need to define first storage reference and then we need to define our, our child so here i will pass the file name so let's say my file name is one.png and then we need to call get download url method 
this is the javascript promises we will handle and we will get the url so we'll print it here console.log and url and we can handle it catch block for error purpose and that's it so we'll reload this page so this is a url downloadable url i'll just copy or in new tab yeah so this is a downloadable url we can uh, collect and similarly we can if you want to get the download url for this file i'll just change the child reference yeah okay now similarly uh, you can delete the file for example i want to delete this file so just we need to use delete method and here we can add alert and just reload this page yeah so file is successfully removed and yeah so file is removed this is how you can uh, upload download and delete the file on firebase cloud storage uh, to know more about firebase storage uh, you can go to the documentation there is a, a lot of methods you can use it and if you have any questions you can uh, reach out to me uh, on social media uh, like twitter instagram facebook thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video